Hey guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pretend like Halloween is not over, even though it's, it's very much over at this point, and we're going to play a spooky fun game. Instead of killing some folks, we're going to get some folks to love us, okay? We're going to play a game called Monster Prom, where you are a hot and sexy monster trying to get another hot and sexy monster to go to prom with you because why not it's it, obviously if i was a monster i'd be trying to get someone to go to prom with me i mean get off my back but anyways so as you can see you can't really see the screen but fear not because you're going to see the screen appear yonder afterwards well when i start i should say uh you're gonna see the screen there i still very much getting a lot of great feedback saying the over the shoulder screen the older over the shoulder is a great feel it feels like you guys are part of it it feels like you're sitting in the room with me i really want to play pc games but you know i i can't get that same thing and you you can't see the screen but I still want to do it, so hopefully it won't be too crazy to have the game here while I am playing. We're going to try it out. We'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy. And so this is going to be a shorter game. It's going to be done in one session. I, I really want to get back to doing those videos where I'm just playing a little bit of a game and trying to kind of get you guys jazzed about getting in and actually playing it. So this is actually a pretty not so good one for that because I'm going to get through an entire game in this session. Um, there's there's a lot more to the game that I'll be able to show you guys. So get in, try it out, enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, doing some monster prom. Okay, we're gonna do one player. I'm gonna do a short game, around 30 minutes. And again, I was saying, you know, I wanna do kind of more of an intro, so I'm gonna do the 30 minute one instead of a 60 minute one. We're gonna see how this goes. Do a short game. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who am I? I think I'm going to be unassuming teenager number one. Okay, my name is going to be Yellow with a pronoun of he. Uh, hey. I hit enter. Go to okay. What on earth? Now we got it. Okay. So what our goal again is we're we're gonna get this yellow character, for that is how he is he is so named. We're gonna get yellow a date to prom with one of the other monsters. So we'll see who's exciting to us and who we want to get to to ask to the prom. And if you're anything like me, you are not good with with potential love interests and therefore you're gonna fail so let's see and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge the monster prom I remember it clearly three weeks were left as we fantasize about our dream prom dates we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates <sighs> just like real life Okay, we have Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah! Damien LeVay, 21. He's 21 in high school, folks. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Liam the Lion Court, 4XX. 
Is that supposed to mean the fourth? I, I don't even know. He's a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. A vampire. Hmm. Yay! And then there's Polly Geist, who might be 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Huh. I think it would be kind of hard to dance with a ghost. You know, kind of try to wrap your arm around, hold hands. Or just, in general, try to hold hand and goes right through. <sighs> the troubling times we face. What? Okay, and then there's Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. All right, all right. So, I think we're going to try for the werewolf, because he seems the nicest. Well, she... She's nice, but she's genocidal. We'll see. Let's see. We'll, let's let's get in and see who is available to us when. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Okay, Team Wolf. Welcome to the Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but are they rotten? But they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. I like that it's an RPG. Uh, this way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! You're elected president for a day. What's the first law you pass? Well, one dollar bills will now include a picture of me and the inscription, Beware Too Much Awesomeness. My presidency might last a day, but my fame will last forever. Trivia fact! Presidents don't pass laws. So this is a trick question. Or, or are you being an idiot? Or, you can deduct taxes by writing sonnets instead. Amount of taxes deducted are calculated based on the beauty of the sonnets. I gotta go with, I gotta go big or go home, so it's gonna be a picture of me. Beware too much awesomeness. Okay, so I'm so charming. Okay, it's your chance to fix global warming, go ahead. Nah, the world is doomed, but I'll start investing in ships and start a profitable business for the soon-to-be-covered-by-water world. Reasonable. It's time to be a real hero. I'll lead a mission to the sun in order to invite the sun to a party of its life. With so many hilarious misadventures that the sun will eventually become cooler. Eh. Or global warming isn't real. I invented it and now science is claiming authorship because science is a lame copycat with no original ideas. So we're going to go to a party with the sun. And I'm so fun! Okay, your partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick! Come up with an idea for a great gift. Silly toy that a uh, silly toy that makes silly noises. All right, personally, real life here, not just in game. I think that that's probably cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Or I could give them the head of their fiercest enemy. Anything on fire or a weapon? No, a weapon on fire or a pony. Always a pony. Or anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sort. Uh, lastly, I can choose the abstract concept of gratefulness. So I'm definitely going with a toy that makes silly noises. Hey, Okay. It seems I was I was barking down the right tree when I was talking about doing... Uh, pursuing, I should say, the werewolf. So let's see what else. Okay, right. so I am yellow and... I need to go to one of the areas. I got the auditorium, class, library, outdoors, gyms, or bathroom uh, in order to woo a potential, not partner, but a, a potential date for the prom. So I think since he's a jock, I definitely want to go to either the gym or, okay, the lunchroom is not an availability. Uh, could be outdoors, could be bathrooms. All right, we're going to go to the gym. Let's see what we got here. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. 
Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader, which is clearly true. You gain plus two charm. Scott and Polly pull you aside. One of them is holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. I don't know who Scott and Polly are. I'm gonna find out. Okay, Scott, Polly, awesome. We need your help, bro. Midterm for AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow and we're so unprepared. We tried everything we could think of to get ready. I rolled up the textbook and I smoked it. Unconventional, and I ate my own. Again, unconventional. But nothing worked. We only got one option left. What's that? We got a cheat throw. We just need to figure out how to do it without messing with the teacher. Or with messing with the teacher. Either way, if, if you can help us, we'd be super grateful. Okay, that's all the incentive you need. You need to hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. I can either just take the test like normal, then use this time machine to go back and change your answers. That's a positive. Or you can write all the answers on the teacher's face. He'll never see them there. <laughs> okay. That's just stupid enough to work. Ah, oh, not so bold. But we don't know the answers. Yeah, that's why we're asking you to help us cheat. Learning all the answers just so we could sneak into our teacher's house and tattoo them on his face? That's like more work than just learning the answers. Yeah. And what about for the next test? Are we supposed to tattoo over the answers from the last test? Bro, I'm not like a master planner or anything, but your plan has some serious problems. It's like I always say, Scott, face tattoos are for fun, not for cheating on military midterms. But I think that that's that's really something we can all live by. The way Polly and Scott are looking at you, they might be contemplating giving you a fun face tattoo. You flee to safety and lose two, created, two creativity and one smart. So that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, week one, noon. All right. All right, cool. So I need to try and find a way to get back on Scott's good graces, so I gotta go talk to him. All right, sit down at this shake table. All right, as you approach your chosen, sit, your chosen table, you see Liam carefully framing his artfully arranged jelly dessert for a transcendent food pick. When? <laughs> food pick. Ride those picks to victory. Again, unconventional. <sighs> what? What does that even mean? When I say food, you say pick. Food. No. Food! Enough. Stop. Two, four, picks, eight, food, we do appreciate. Food, picks, food, picks, go! Cease this incessant chanting this instant. No. What? I, but I'm trying to help you take the best food pick. You, you've been trying to take this food pick for like 20 minutes now. You've got to snap a pick so you can eat your tasty food. I don't eat, Scott. I only order this so I can take pictures of it. And you're not helping. Oh, bro. I know, I know. My cheerleading just isn't good enough. What I need is a cheer partner to take me to the next level. No, what you need is a swift kick in the... <laughs> but it's too late. Scott's already chosen you as his cheer partner. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you what the two of you will do. Okay. All right. We got to pick Liam up and toss him in the air. It's the only way to really amp him up. Or, Liam's food picks are art, so we've got to use art to cheer him on. The quiet art of mine. No, we're definitely going big or going home. We're going to toss him in the air. Woo! I get it. Amp him up. Like they're, like where the sky is. Let's do it. What? No, that's, that's horrible. Up you go, little buddy. Reach for the stars. Okay, I'm actually getting some very artistic angles on my food from up here, but this is still not okay. Oh, Liam, always being sarcastic. He loves it. Wait, you you chose now to finally start understanding what sarcasm is? I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> you can't fool me, Liam. I know everything you say means the opposite of what I think it means. Liam eventually gets Scott to put him down by saying he loves being thrown in the air. Scott still somehow believes he did the right thing. 
and gives you and gives you the most intimate fist bump. Bro. All right. Okay, so what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, we got outdoors, we got the library, we got class, we got auditorium. I think I think we're going to uh, the library. Let's see, what's in the library today? Ah, uh, that day you spent some time on the library's PC playing some good old online poker. All right, hopefully I will get some money. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. Okay, and here comes Liam ranting to anyone who will listen about his failings, about the failings of living his life. I have such pity for creatures that have to consume things other than blood. Grocery shopping, cooking, chewing, it's a nightmare. No wonder there are so many fad diets. People don't want to have to choose what they eat. Like, have you heard of the Matryoshka diet? You eat a tapeworm, and then you eat a bigger tapeworm to swallow that tapeworm, and so on, until all of your organs are replaced by tapeworms. It's usually fatal, but the corpses do look bad. Oh man, that brings back memories. The Matryoshka diet is how I die. I miss fad diets. I used to get up to the stupidest shenanigans just to get my hands on the latest food replacement. Gross! Whoa, are you guys talking about fad diets? Sign me up. I'll do anything and it'll get me more ripped. Anything! Okay, have you heard of the Imhotep cleanse? It's where you only eat things that came from a mummy. Mummies are rare, so you get super skinny. Plus you get raw, you get to rob too. Versus, you've heard of the paleo diet, now try the Jurassic diet. You, can, you can't eat anything that isn't a dinosaur. Killing a T-Rex alone will get you super buff. Kill a dinosaur. Not so bold. Hey Scott, didn't you say you had a time machine? That diet would be perfect for you. I do, but Coach gave it to me in a condition that I only use it to go back in time and win all the games you lost. Oh, bro. Reasonable. I'm not going to jeopardize my deep relationship with Coach just to get a heck of swole in history time. Plus, the last time I used it, I ended up in a time that looked exactly like the present and I never figured out how to go back. Turns out the time machine is just a cardboard box painted Believe in Yourself. Alright. Everyone knows time travel isn't real. Or is it? In any case, you lose two charm and a boldness. I mean, maybe it had a lot of beef feelings? Anyway, week two, starting in the morning. All right, so I think things are going well with this Scott fellow. I think that he might be willing to go to prom. I've got two, like you can see after the dialogue choices, you can see not only you can see how your stats are, are affected by it, but also you can see like the portrait of someone and you can see a heart. I, I assume that there's something if you go down in affection. I, I don't know how how it all works. Um, but I saw I saw him with two. Um, let's go let's go outdoors. Seems like a good thing. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Boss. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. I did go to a party with the sun, and now I got plus two fun. Nearby, you can see Scott and the wolf pack talking. All right, Scott again. Awesome. You want to have a conversation with him because, again, he's who we're targeting. Scott, Scott, we have the greatest power drink to do. Check this out, bro. Oh, I love power drinks. But wait, this new cutting-edge sports supplement is like none other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can consume it using only your nose. <laughs> All right, it's called Coke, Coke, yeah, Coke, Coke, cocaine? Whoa, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink, which definitely means it's cutting edge, just like you said. Yeah, it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein powder, and 100% raw power. 
God, damn it with these crazy pranks. But before you do, could do anything, Scott distorted all the code. <laughs> and he's gone full wolf mode. He's basically unleashed and destroying everything he sees. You need to do something to calm him down. Fuck, fuck. Using your vast knowledge of aromatherapy, you become some lavender scented cocaine to neutralize the regular scented cocaine in the last one of them. Or you can give him a flashy fidget spinner. Alright, I'm gonna assume, based on the character that we've seen so far, you wanna do the flashy fidget spinner. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So fun, so very fun. You start spinning a very flashy fidget spinner in front of Wolf Scott. He stops wreaking havoc and stares at the spinning fidget. It's so... spinning. After a while, he reverts to his normal self because everyone knows that cocaine burger is a werewolf's transformation, but a fidget spinner can cancel it. This city is the best thing ever. It's like... like a very safe and friendly shirt. Can I keep it? You say no to that pair of puppy dog eyes. Hooray! You see Scott fleeing with your fidget spinner, still managing to wreak some havoc despite calling it very safe and friendly. Clumsy, handsome Scott, you gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. Alright, so we've had some ups, we've had some downs. Uh, we'll see how, how this turns out in the end. Uh, okay, so I can talk to Scott or. I think if I talk to this character, this cat over here, then that will give me access to, like, stuff I can buy. I mean, to, truth be told, I have played this game before, and I didn't do very well. I didn't do very well. But I think I'm just going to stick to my guns and talk to Scott, see if we can Keep the eye on the prize. It's got a prom. Seems like it's a very open-minded school. School for monsters. They, they gotta be open-minded. So let's see. Vera's drinking her customary lunchtime scotch. Because you can drink whatever the hell you want at this school. But Scott's not making it any easier for her. Hey Vera, what you drinking? Why is he covered in honey? I don't I don't understand. Scotch. Why? Because it smells like a delicious forest fire, and I'm curious. What's it called? Scotch. Yes? No, that's what it's called. What? Scotch. Yes? No, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink I'm drinking. It's Scotch. It's mine? No, it's mine. And why is it called Scots? That's just what it's called. It's like an energy drink for Scots. I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. Hey, I'm a Scottish person. I am as Scottish as possible to be. I'm the most Scott. No. Ugh. What will it take you to drop this issue? Scott's not going to drop it unless you do something. So you cut in and say, Yeah, it's actually called Scots, but today it's opposite day, so everything that's Scots is actually buried. Or, you're right, Scott. The drink is your birthright. Jug, jug, jug. And I think we're doing, I think we're doing opposite day. Don't you mean today isn't opposite day? So why did I get the heart for her? No. Aha, I'm not sorry, not Vera. I guess I'll be taking your drink. Wait, wait, time out. For everything that Scott's is Vera, do I have to give Vera all my stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. And does Vera have to give me all of her stuff? Sure. Unfortunately, I have no stuff. Uh, all my possessions are owned by cleverly disguised shell companies. Now, hand over your wallet. Oh, okay, okay. Boy, opposite day sure is the best, isn't it? Sure is. After Scott leaves you alone, you and Vera definitely don't spend all of his money on cocaine. Okay. If that's what we're doing, all that's right. what we're doing. All right, yellow. Where are you going today? We already went to the gym. Uh, bathrooms are occupied. Let's go to... We haven't gone to class, have we? I don't think we've gone to class. Let's go to class. It seems... I figure I should go at least once. 
That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You being blessed with marks. Okay. It's almost time for football practice, but you see Scott without his uniform on, looking sadder than you've ever seen him. I just can't believe it, bro. Coach kicked me off the team. It's not fair. How was I supposed to know the new cocaine power drink contained cocaine? But rules are rules, and apparently doing a bunch of cocaine is against those rules. Well, what am I going to do, bro? Sports is my life. A life without sports is like life without fire. Please, bro, help me figure out a way to get back on the team. We'd love to help. The only question is, how? You can spike the punch with coke on prom night. If the whole team's on coke, coach will have to let you all play. Or, you, all we've got to do is convince coke uh, convince Coach that cocaine is a good thing. A little hands-on demonstration wouldn't hurt. Uh, ooh, this one's tough. This one's tough. I... Uh, I think I'm gonna do hands-on demonstration. So charming. Hey, yeah, Coach can't possibly be against cocaine once he knows how great it is. I mean, how can something that makes me feel like such a good boy be bad? I felt like I could catch every ball and every frisbee. I felt like I could chase any car. I looked my own balls for hours. All right, I did not need that. I did not need that. How could any of that be wrong? But if you really want to show him, you're gonna have to get some more cocaine. Do you know how to do that? You're sure that won't be a problem. In fact, you remember seeing someone selling it somewhere. You gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Okay, so I think that I need to go talk to the cat now. All right. See if they have cocaine. What's up? Shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyways, welcome. Uh... I'm too poor for the cocaine. Look at that. Good old cocaine. I have seven money. It doesn't say how much. That's ten dollars. Ugh. It's awful. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Whew. Fresh. So we're not gonna do that. Tampon used by the former prawn queen. This is gross. I'm getting out of here. You just came to say hi? What a weirdo. Human interaction is so left here. Ugh. Well, that was a waste. I'm very disappointed that I don't have the money. All right. Because I, I know that's going to come back to bite me. Uh, all right, let's talk to Scott again. We arrive at Scott and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares, horrified at her tray. Hmm. What's wrong, Mom? Yeah. I hope I'm saying that right. Isn't it obvious? Right here on my tray. Fish sticks. <laughs> yeah, fish stick Fridays. Isn't it great? Not great, Scott. The fish are my subjects. This is clearly the work of the air people. Uh, um, uh, air people? Yes. Do you not know of the air people? The merfolk's most hated rivals? D don't you read the news? Uh... Yes, sure, uh, because I, I totally know how to read. What? Well, I must insist that you you cease eating those fish sticks immediately. High Aww. treason. Aw, but I've been looking forward to fish stick Friday since... Uh, since last fish stick Friday. Are you sure I can't eat any? He's asking Miranda while holding the fish stick really close to the mouth. But you feel like you've got a better... You better an you've got a better answer to settle this argument. You blurt out... Haven't you heard, Scott? Fish sticks make you worse at sports. They contain ball droppinol and nerdoflavin. Versus, fish sticks contain absolutely no fish. It's all garden snails and food grade plastic. Scott can eat as many as he wants. All right, so the first one seems. Who, who's, who are these for? Okay, it seems like I'm placating her by saying that there's no fish, but I'm also 
placating her by saying, don't eat those fish sticks. I'm gonna go with this first one and we'll see. Uh, oh no, the neuroflavin and ball drop them all. Those are two of the worst ones. Do the air people want me to be bad at sports? <laughs> of course they do, Scott. The air people hate sports and sportsmen. It's one of the most loathsome things about them. Aside from their feathers and their socialism. Well, I'm just not gonna eat any fish sticks ever again. Fish stick Friday, more like fish stick. Fish stick by day? Yeah, man, I gotta tell the rest of the wolf pack about this. Scott runs off to spread anti-air people propaganda, and Miranda gives you a most regal smile. Well, I think that I'm not going to get a date for prom day. Or for prom. Alright! I don't have any cocaine, and I have not been able to talk to this person. Alright, we're gonna go to the auditorium, and we'll see if something is going on here. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Later, you hear an unmistakable growling that can only mean one thing. Intergalactic lions have broken through the space to devour one of the smaller, weaker groups. Oh wait! It's just the wolf pack. Guess it could have meant two things. For the last time, is this a bro is this a bromance or a bro treason? Bromance or a bro treason? I don't get it. You're my teammates and my family, and I'm not trying to be a bad Scott, but this is the third month in a row you've missed our full moon bro down. We've got, uh, we got together and practiced a wolf pyramid and then helped each other inject cheap steroids. We played flip cup with, ram, uh, with lamb's blood spiked with natty ice. Well, that sounds really nice, but I already had plans and I didn't want to let people down. Bro, you're a wolf. Are you with the wolf pack or are you with those other monsters? Oh, damn. You're one of those other monsters. You better do something. Let me teach you a new game. Extremely long distance fetch. Or guys, guys, guys. Huh? On the inside, aren't we all wolves? Oh jeez. It's gotta be extremely long distance fetch. Because guys, guys, guys on the inside, aren't we all wolves is gonna just frustrate them. Bro, really? You think a little game of fetch is really gonna work on us? <laughs> because it will, we love fetch. Scott, not now, bro. Play it cool, play it cool. Hold up the headless kitten squeaky toy you always keep on hand, just in case. Immediately, you are tackled by five wolves. It turns out that the five wolves is something that you are no match for, strength-wise. The wolf packs scramble over each other, feet, paws, hands, tails colliding against each other and against you. Give it here, give it here, give it here! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got it! Way to go, bro! But you're not gonna keep it! The wolf pack chases after Scott. They seem to be having an amazing time. Why did you think encouraging a bunch of dog jocks to play fetch together would seem like a good alternative? You lose two charm and one creativity. I am not doing so good. The monster prom draws near. Who will you ask to prom? Alright, so I have a plus with you, I have a plus with you, and I have a plus with you. But I was trying to target Scott. Hey, bro. Ask Scott for the prom, yes. All right. This is gonna fail hard. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Huh? Prom? I don't know. You're nice and all, but I have a great sense of smell. And somehow this smells like a bad idea. So I, I passed it. Sorry. You knew you should have taken a shower before asking Scott. <laughs> your failure made you so despised by the society that you were exiled to the wild where you joined a pack of wolves. Still, you were so bad at social interaction that you also failed at getting a date for Wolf Prom. Okay. As it turns out, Yellow is most likely to marry a Okay. That's Monster Prom, guys. I mean, I think that it's, it's kind of fun. I did not get a secret ending, I did not get a, an, oh, I got a new outcome, I got a new event, but 
Uh, as it turns out, and I knew it was going to happen, I'm not good. I'm not good at uh, this type of game. Um, give it a try. Uh, it, it is fun. Um, you know, try some of the other monsters, see if uh, if any of them are more more uh, amenable to you know to, to going to prom. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's like one that you were supposed to pick, like supposed to focus on. I don't know. I don't know how this all works, but I got this game for cheap.